Hi right, guys, Black here. I'm getting ready to show you all how to tell when a Ford um, torque converter locks up. Now this is a six-speed transmission. It's a 2016 F-150. It's gonna be kind of hard with the 10-speed because the gears shift so quickly. I've driven a 10-speed before, but I don't. I, I wasn't paying attention when the torque converter locked up. I wasn't paying, so I don't know when it locks up in that transmission. But I do know in in this six-speed, it locks up after it shifts the third gear. And the way you tell that is, you're gonna see the RPM fall down a little bit, but it's gonna stay in third gear. Every time the RPM fall down is when the transmission shift. All right, now I'm gonna pull off. We're in first, second. Third, see the RPM fought. It fought first time it fell a little bit was when the torque converter locked up. The second time it fell, I mean, the, the next time it fell was when it shifted to the fourth gear. So now the torque converter is locked up and it's pretty much going to stay locked up until I um, I'll let you know when it unlocked. Sometime when you step on the gas it will unlock the torque converter. Sometime, most of the time it stays locked up. It's still locked up now. Again, so how do I know when the torque converter is locked up? When you take your foot off the gas in the Ford and step back on, if you notice that the RPM, it went up slightly and then it came back down. Okay, my foot is off the gas. I'm stepping back on the gas. Notice the RPM gonna go up a little bit, but then it's gonna fall. It went up and then it locked. It can't. It locked up. Okay, so when I step back on the gas, the torque converter unlocks for a second, and then when I step, then it locks back up. Okay, again, I'm gonna let off the gas. My foot is off the gas. I'm gonna. St I'm stepping back on the gas now. You saw it went up a little bit, and then it came back down. Okay, so the torque converter is locked up. So. The majority of the time you're towing, even when you're towing, even if you have it in tow haul mode, the torque converter is locked up. It's locked up the whole time. So when you're towing up a steep hill, in the F-150 anyway, the torque converter is locked up. So, so what I'm saying is, new transmissions don't build up as much heat as the old transmissions. Old transmission that didn't have lock-up torque converters, just say like a, a old C5 or C6 Ford transmission, when you're towing, it's slipping. The whole time it's slipping. The new transmission, the torque converter's locked up. That's all I gotta say. Now, some people are wondering what happens when you accelerate in a transmission downshift? Does it unlock the torque converter then? No. It may unlock it for a second during the shift to make it smooth, but usually it don't. And I'm getting ready to accelerate to let you know. I run the cruise control, run the 65. I'm gonna hit it three times. That, you, that should bring up a downshift. Well, it normally brings, well, I am going slightly downhill. So, okay, so I'm gonna hit it um, three more times. You're gonna go up a hill, not a big hill, but a slight hill. I'm going to hit it three times and it should downshift. All right, I'm on a slight hill now. Yep, it bought the downshift. But it went right back to six. So when it downshifted, the converter would prop most likely still locked up. Now, sometime, every once in a while, when you go up a hill, it'll unlock the torque converter and slip it but normally that's not on the expressway that's normally when you like in the city but we're gonna we're gonna see it i'm gonna i'm gonna hit it four times to speed up and we're gonna see this is gonna unlock the torque converter and stay in drive in in six i'm sorry oh hell we're going down the slight hill again Normally, four, four clicks would have uh, sped it up. Every time I hit the cruise control, the positive, four times, it raises speed. Whatever the speed is set at, it, it's gonna raise it four times. If you hit it four times, if you drop it down four times, it'll slow down. So we run it 75, I'm gonna hit it down four times. One, two, three, four, five. 
I mean four, I meant four, but. Because I dropped, hit five times and went to 70. And notice we're doing 70. And I'm gonna go back to 75. I'm gonna hit it five times plus. It downshift. It locked, I mean, it went back to overdrive. I mean, it went back to six. Because fifth is actually overdrive also in the six-speed automatic. This six-speed automatic does not have a drive, believe it or not. The closest thing to drive it has is fourth gear, which is a um, uh, 1.5, 1.15, I think it is, 1.15, which is slightly less than drive. Drive is one to one. But this one I'm saying, the majority of the time you're on the expressway, the torque converter is locked up. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to show you a time when it's not locked up. Now, I just cut the cruise control off. I'm gonna slow down about 65. All right, now I'm gonna step on the gas and we're gonna see if it's gonna unlock the torque converter without the downshift. Oh hell, it's holding. It ain't even, it ain't even downshifting. So why does it downshift when you hit the cruise control? The cruise control in this car, in this truck, is very um, abrupt. It's very strong, you know. Now let's see, can I get it to accelerate and downshift? I gotta get off a little bit. Is the torque converter locked up? I, hell, I don't know, probably is. Damn it, this, man, this car don't make no sense. How, and the damn police behind me. Is the police getting on? Hell, I can't even tell. I gotta get off though. I mean, it just don't make no sense. To, I love this damn EcoBoost. It just accelerate like it don't care. And I did not floor it. It was not floored. I just stepped on the kind of hard. I love the way this tucker accelerates. And was that the police behind me? I mean, he's not right behind me. He's quite a bit ways back. Anyway, this is um, about all I got to talk about.